Hey, this is a review for the uh, Ultimate Direction Men's Ultra Jump. One feature was it weighs 164 grams, 5.8 ounces, and it does feel really, really light. There's a lot about this jacket, but let's take a look at what my initial thoughts were when I was wearing it this weekend. So the jacket is great to wear, it's very light, but it was pretty exposed at Penavan about two hours ago, absolutely lashing down. I was trying to pull the, the draw cords in, and this one, the, the grey toggle that pulls it in, snapped off straight away. Could have done without that. I think I could repair it, probably easy enough. But I only bought the jacket last night. Then the hood, when it's up, it's great. I really like it. Uh, it doesn't cover all your face when you're tightly zipped up. It doesn't cover. It didn't cover me this much. It was probably about here. I think to compensate that, what I could do is get a buff that's maybe a bit more waterproof. This is a cheap the buff I'm wearing right now. Is a cheap buff. So that'll be a good combo, I think, and then I can take it off when it's hot. Things I don't like right now, because it's the, the rain stopped, is I got the hood down, and it's kind of like pulling down on my back. So, so it's a bit of a nuisance. Be, I was going to wear this in the summer, but when it's a bit mild, I'm going to need to find a way to scrunch the, the hood up. That'll make it better. But what I really like is that the gloves I've got on now, nice and ready, I've been folded twice. Yeah. They're warm, but they're not waterproof. So I've been using the like the, the built-in finger cover, whatever that feature is called. But what could be better about that feature is if it had a hole for the thumb. So let me explain. When I run, I've got my fingers out, but I run with my thumb inside, and I think it would be better if my thumb was sticking out sticking out here then I could wrap it up and it'd be good so I, I like this feature though it means I don't have to have waterproof gloves I can have warm gloves which stay dry my friend's got cold fingers right now so at the time I was taking a break you know we would do it I was doing a bit of walking for that hour so I took a moment to give my initial thoughts on what I thought about the jacket so since then I've had time to think about it it's definitely lightweight I, I got it because I wanted the lightest jacket available. It definitely kept me dry all day. Uh, the only reason I was wet on the inside was probably just because of water getting down the side or just being a bit sweaty, really. And, you know, I was out for six hours and I felt... I remember thinking that five hours in that I was feeling really good and I was quite comfortable with, with on my run. Uh, the finger covers, which have a special name, the Pattern Pending Flip Mitts. Okay, the flip mitts. I like this idea. My friend, um, my friend got his fingers were cold pretty pretty early on, and he he was running with his hands sort of inside the cuff as I've done in, in the past. So having this, uh, having the flip mitts was great. But the problem or, or the way to improve this is to have a hole here. You need a hole to stick my thumb out. So this is an actual glove I was wearing, and. Yeah, I think I've said in the video pretty much, you know, I would have had my thumb out. I could have run with my thumb in there. There was a hole here just to put it through. And maybe that hole could be innovated in a way so that when you don't want to run with the flip mitts sticking out, that they can maybe poke through the hole to stop them being a little bit messy or something like that. And with the hood, the hood is okay, right? So, well, Ultimate Direction when they were selling is that it's got like a vent. So that... It <laughs> Hello! So the air goes in and it comes out oh the little air out the back. So you get an airflow flowing over your head. So I had a I had um a woolly hat on and so I couldn't tell if I couldn't feel the air flowing over my head, man. But uh certainly the hood kept me dry. What was is not so good about the hood is that it's not covering my face. The rain was coming down pretty hard at the top of the Brecon Beacons. And I wanted to be like this, I wanted to be enclosed and so I started pulling all of these things and this this just broke. So this broke pr pretty much straight away, it wasn't it was within like the first hour that this just snapped off probably because I was pulling the wrong part. Uh, so good to take a look, they actually have like little pulleys. Where is it? It's like a little pulley and you're supposed to pull that pulley and if I'd gone like that 
pull it back. Uh, even now, it's not not so great. But that, there we go. That would have been me locked in. So that's as good as my face is going to get covered. <laughs> This would have been absolutely fine. The only problem is, is that this buff is a cheap one and it got the front got all wet and then every time I was breathing I feel I felt like I was being waterboarded. I thought it was I thought it was Chinese water torture. Then when you the hood is down, uh I had an ultra jacket on and it got caught or oh, it started sliding down it and it became a bit of a nuisance really. Uh, whenever if I'm going to wear this in summer, I'm going to want some way to have this all rolled up and scrunched up. You know, you know, because I'm just not going to wear the hood hood up. But I might wear the, might want to wear the jacket. The jacket's really lightweight and it's good to have out. The colours all look good. I'm all nice and matching. I'm Mr. Ultimate Direction right now. Whenever we stopped, I wanted to check my phone. So just checking where we are and checking the map, which sometimes I save on my phone. I get my phone out, do, do whatever I was going to do. Put it back, and I've got to do up one zip, a second zip, and then I kept running, forgetting that I'd had my jacket open, and I'd have to stop again. All right, so that was a nuisance. That, that, I, I must have done that four or five times, and maybe I'll get used to it. Maybe what I should just do is just stick to having the phone in my pocket. But it was raining, and I didn't want to expose. I wanted it inside because I didn't have a waterproof bag for it. The other bad point, which is uh, it's kind of a minor thing, but it's because I'm in the UK, uh, I didn't realise that people, men in the UK, we have our jackets. The zips go on the other side. Spider should be on this side in the UK. So I'm not sure if there's some fix I can do where I can break off this slider and change it to the other side track. If you've got a hack for that, I'd like to know. I'm going to see if I can uh, improve, maybe I can... I'll ask Ultimate Direction if there's something that can be done about repairing this. Maybe I could just do it myself. It looks like it's just going to be a bit of sewing. But I haven't got the, the pull-out feature. Maybe I can find a quick hack for that. Um, my ideas for improvements are, of course, the, a thumb hole. I think that the pocket should just be on the outside. And maybe some hack to store the hood. this here maybe there's some way whereby ultimate direction could innovate this to go into the coat hook and it could catch on just to hold it in position you know I think that could work maybe if they had the coat hook on the outside I'm not sure but definitely having the hood bouncing around and being flappy. It looks like it'll go flat against my back. It certainly compresses nice. But I just, I just don't want the hood bouncing around. Tips, when you're soaking wet and you hang up your jacket to dry, you need to raise the, the cuffs up because if they're hanging down, they're gonna gather water in it. What I didn't know is that it has a draw cord on the waist. And thirdly, is that you're going to want to make sure that you're familiar with how to pull how to pull these tight. It's like a little feature and it pulls. Don't be like me and maybe go and break yours. <laughs> so thanks for watching. This was my first review. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to like my video and subscribe if you want to know more about me and what things I get up to.